your Storm Team 2 forecast. I would hope so. All right, let's check out that forecast. 62 at 7 o'clock. And uh, we're looking at partly to mostly sunny skies around the area, but the clouds starting to fill back in. And those clouds will fill in and eventually even bring us a chance of some late evening showers as we back it off into the 50s. As far as the forecast goes, tomorrow morning, 51 at 8 o'clock, cloudy skies, some showers. Uh, still left around the area. May get a little bit of a break in the action midday 50s and then upper 50s to near 60 at 5 o'clock with that chance of showers coming back. We'll call it a partly cloudy evening, although we'll cloud up again later on. Rain moves in overnight and cloudy conditions Friday with those showers. Rain Saturday, chance of thunder, and actually some colder air coming in Saturday night before the rain moves out may change it over to snow before ending. Right now, little or no accumulation expected, but something to watch for. And Sunday itself, after sunrise, we should be looking at partly, even mostly sunny skies. 69 are high today after a low temperature this morning of 40, 55, 35. The normals now as we continue to climb and lows tonight barely getting below 55, uh, down to about 50 degrees for us with 40s in the northern part of the state tomorrow afternoon. There's that cool air up north. We'll have a front west to east across uh, the state, basically in central Ohio. So 40s and 50s to the north of that front, south of the front, still feeling like spring with temperatures in the 60s. Troy Stouter Center time lapse. You can see the blue sky out there and uh, still some breaks in the clouds around the area this evening. Partly cloudy skies. We do have some showers mainly north of the Miami Valley. Some light precip trying to get going there out across central Indiana. There may be some brief sprinkles early this evening, but the main core of rain west of us in Missouri and Illinois more expected to develop across Illinois and Indiana this evening. That'll all spread eastward and increase our chances of rain by late this evening. Right now in Dayton, we have a temperature of 68, southwest wind 21, relative humidity. It is some dry air out there, 32 percent the relative humidity. Tip City right now, John Kingham, 70 degrees, 70 in uh, Jim Robbins in Beaver Creek, along with Barbara Richards in Kettering, but a lot of 60s surrounding those numbers with Anna out in Germantown at 69. Not much rain this evening, but here comes the precipitation after midnight, especially rain around tomorrow morning, showers for the morning. Morning commute, as I mentioned, maybe a little bit of a break in the action, middle part of the day, and then more rain will start to fill back in later into the afternoon and evening with some heavier rain around Friday night and some of that heavy rain continuing into Saturday. Finally, on the tail end of this system, still some rain around going into Saturday evening. And as I mentioned, with that cold air coming in later Saturday evening, Saturday night might be some flakes of wet snow in the air. Our forecast tonight, partly cloudy this evening. We'll be looking for some showers develop, though, late evening as we cloud up again. And 50 degrees, that overnight low temperature. Cloudy showers tomorrow around 60 with a southwest wind, 5 to 15. 53, 10 o'clock with 56 at noon. And then upper 50s to around 60 later in the day with that rain chance going up again. 58 for a morning high Saturday. Then we'll have temperatures dropping through the day. Showers, chances, some thunderstorms. That chance of rain over to snow Saturday night before ending, and then a dry day Sunday. 30 in the morning, 44 the high temperature. A cold start to the month of April in the morning at 25 with a high around 50. But by Wednesday and Thursday, highs will reach. The mid to upper 60s. So, spring weather will be making a comeback. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Baseball and baseball <laughs> weather arriving at the same time for once. Especially